it's Jody from Craft on the Run. Thanks for joining me today. Today I want to share with you a process video of a scrapbook page that I completed recently. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up in the comments below. Thanks for watching and um, hope you enjoy and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Got a quiet moment so I thought I would shoot a little video and show you what I'm up to. So I've just got myself some watercolour paper. Um, i seen a layout that I was inspired by. So uh, this is the one here. So I'm going to see if I can do something along those lines. So I've just started with some watercolour paper, sprayed the paper and I am going to see how it turns out. So, I hope you can join me. You will see here that I'm trying to move the watercolour down the page, so I'm just adding some more water and then drying off. So I used, that one was peacock feathers, so let's see, and try some of this one, sorry, this one. Here you will see that I'm adding some of the picked raspberry to uh, my watercolour paper, so just playing around with background, I really love how the ink actually blends on the paper and gives that real chalky finish and then I decided to add a, a little of the spiced marmalade and just to give me a bit more colour there so just pushing it around with my brush and seeing how it turns out. So you can see on the page that I've um, added the colour on there, which is the powder, and when you spray it, it bursts all over the page, um, adding that really vibrant colour. So a bit more water and moving it around the page, and then I'm going to dry it off. As you can see I've added the colour here and I've used lots of water and now I'm just moving it around the page until I get the desired effect. Welcome back, we're on to the finishing stages of our pages. Um, I've used a variety of texture stamps to create my background and this stamp in particular is one of my favourites. It's the Mandala stamp from Kazaz and to create the feature behind the photo map I stamped it onto a piece of cocoa vanilla paper called Outdoors Type. It has um, or it features a map uh, with some gorgeous colours like yellows and oranges so that way I didn't have to colour the stamp it was already done for me and I just fussy cut it and then to create the dimension I cut it in half so I had an embellishment on both sides and there's the piece of paper Finishing off the page, this is a fun part this is where you get to play with your embellishment so these ones are from Coco Vanilla they're called Legendary so I just pulled out a bunch of them and I'm playing around with them, sticking them in different parts on different parts of the page to see what might work for me and the photo and finding a title and just really seeing how it will come together and trying to work out 
where I might like to place these embellishments. So always, you know, move them around the page. Rule of thumb for me is that I like to group them in either threes or fives, like an odd number. So I've stuck down my photo and now I'm just finishing off uh, where I want to put these embellishments by foam mounting them to give a bit of dimension. And you will see that I've worked out where I want to place them and how it looks. Not good there, no, don't want it there. Maybe I think I'll put it here. Yep, that kind of works. There we go. can see this is the finished layout but I didn't think it was quite finished so I decided that I wanted to add some chipboard so I pulled out my scrap max chippy and had a bit of a play with what I had so I thought these circle words were fantastic because they fit with all the circles on the page so I pulled them out and I'm just deciding where I might put them As you can see, just moving them about, just seeing where they might look cohesive and balanced on the page and where it might suit on the photo. So once I've got that, pretty happy with that, then I decided I might put some chipboard behind the photo but this chippy which I love wasn't really working for me so I thought, what else can I do? So I grabbed out the arrows and um, thought, yep, these look pretty cool. So I was actually using this one in here. It was being a bit difficult to get out, but um, popped it up on the top of my photo there to make a bit of a feature pointing towards the circle word. So. Just getting it to sit where I want it, playing around with it. And then I decided I would like something else on the background. So they were the circle words, uh, sorry, the arrows that I used. And I found this gorgeous piece of, looks like honeycomb, but it's actually circle mesh. And thought that, tear this up a little bit and it would make the page look a bit grungy so as you can see I'm just tearing it it's very easy to tear thanks Andrew and Sophie they're the lovely people that own scrap mats who I happen to be on the design team for which I'm forever grateful because I love it and I love their chipboard just gorgeous people I hope you're happy and well and safe Sophie and Andrew So just here you can see that I'm just moving it around the page where it might look okay and this is the raw colour so easy to colour. I really wanted to put it behind the photo but I don't know why because it just wasn't working so um, then I decided that maybe, maybe I'd just stick it straight on the page. But no, yep, still playing around with it behind the photo. I don't know, wasn't kind of working and then went, oh, yes, I'll pop it on the page. That kind of works. So, tear it a little bit more and there we go. I really liked how it fit on the paper on the page great for edging edging the uh, page just to give it a bit of a feature I mean those little bits <laughs> so I could see through it and that 
Looks good there. And pop in a piece over that side. And I'm done. I was loving that, so I decided to pop that, and there we go, that's that. So now I'm going to colour my chipboard that I've chosen for my layout with the Uniquely Creative Glitter Pen. This one's black, they also come in clear, and I think silver and maybe gold. Um, if you get a chance, have a go, see how you like it. I love them. I use them all the time to colour my chipboard. I actually find them easier than ink or paint and they dry very quickly as well and also they leave a little sparkle on the chipboard which who doesn't love a bit of sparkle and especially on a boys page he said they can't have some sparkle so I'm just popping out the unwanted bits of chipboard and finish color coloring them off and then I'm going to stick them onto my layout. This particular glue pen is a favourite of mine. It has a really fine nib on the end of it, so you're not wasting glue and you're able to cover the back of the chippy for it to stick and it dries clear so you don't have glue everywhere. So I'm just popping them onto my layout. This one was being a little tricky, so I had to use my tool there to hold it in place until it actually adhered to the top of the photo. So with this one that I chose to put onto the photo, the black just didn't seem to stand out, so I thought I'd paint it white. But of course, when I got the paint out to paint it, it ended up a bit grey, so... I wasn't really happy with that, so I thought I'd get out the gesso and paint over top of it, and that kind of made it a bit more lighter so that I was able to see it on my photo. So I really hope you've enjoyed this today and learnt maybe a trick or two. If you have, please leave a comment below and everything I've used in the video I'll make sure I link in the comment section and give me a thumbs up and please, I'm open to suggestions, love to know what you thought, what products you use, what you like and maybe some suggestions on what you'd like to see and then I'll try and see if I can do a video for you. Um, just loving this, so using my other glue pen here, it's a bit thicker to stick everything down. Cleaning the fingers and showing you the layout. So this was what was left. Loving it! Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time. Bye for now!